Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Karma on Deck. Thank you for joining me. We're going to be doing your March 31st. Yeah, I know. I recognize the day. We're going to be doing your March 31st through April 6th tarot reading. Stick around and subscribe, please, and you'll see what other content I have coming for you. I was playing with Mercury Retrograde myself and got a computer bought for me during Retrograde, and of course it crashed, so all my content had to be reproduced, so here I am again doing this for you. I got this cute little thing from my daughter. <laughs> Don't know what the symbols mean, but I'll figure it out. Anyways, now you have a treat. You get to see the videos of the cards as I do the reading. I don't have to hold them up and stick them in your face anymore. So anyways, subscribe and stick around or come find me for your own personal in-depth reading, Karma on Deck, or come find me at Karma Connection Las Vegas if you want to see someone in person. Let's see where you guys are sitting right now. Yeah? This is my dragon deck. This is for cancer. Ugh, right out the gate, we got trouble. Okay, so as I'm looking at this here, let's play popcorn for a minute how I usually do is throw them out and see what pops up. So the first thing that I'm seeing is that you are stuck between two separate opinions, that you're having too many people giving you advice and therefore you're going back and forth. You're not confident in your decision making because too much data is coming in. Because of that, you feel that are some people, and I have the devil card, usually that represents lies or people that are playing with your emotions or not telling the absolute truth. Sometimes this card represents addiction or chemical abuse. But in this situation, I feel like you're in between two individuals to the point where you don't know who to believe. And it's causing you to be a little bit emotional. So as we play with this energy, you're going to be making some decisions right here. So this tells me that you're concerned about like what the ramifications are and the outcome. Stand your ground because the Seven of Cups, which also came up for, that's right, Gemini, you guys always flow right into each other. I usually feel like this is for your cusp people because the Seven of Cups talks to us about you having inner balance, strength on your feet. That's the horse stance or the um, square open body position. This is being pure and raw in the knowledge of who you are and what you want. This is If you are secure in what you know you want, you have a tendency to come with authority and that's difficult to argue with. Right now you're feeling overcommitted and overwhelmed. You can't see the forest for the trees and things are hitting you right and left fast as you can handle it. That's this card right here. So as we're playing with that energy, we have victory, which is the king of swords. So you're going to come out on top. That doesn't mean you won. I mean, you can win. Like my grandfather used to say, I remember we were, I was a kid, I was like 12, and we were getting ready to cross through a crosswalk. And I had said, well, you know, we have the right of way. And he goes, well, if you get hit by a car, you'll be right, but you'll still be dead. And sometimes it's like that. You win, but it doesn't, I mean, what did you win, right? So sometimes being right isn't always valuable. So I see you winning the war and having learned a lesson and totally taking on new people in your life. I do see the world card, so things are going to come out in balance for you, and it's going to be a victory overall. Like, for example, my roommate got hit by a driver who borrowed his mother's brand new Audi, 19 years old, going 100 miles an hour and flipped it. Of course, he wrecked into her, but the greater reward is she's out of a car she hated, wasn't working well, broken down on her, so she's out of the payment. The percentage wasn't right. She's had payment history, and she's got a brand new something out of it. So don't always look at the problem as the event. Look at the problem and see what's coming out of it, because sometimes the universe will move things out of your way for your greater good. It doesn't feel like it at the time. Anyways, I do see that there's some money coming out of your pocket this week. That's feeling like a small expense. It doesn't feel like something huge. Toward the weekend, this card here is telling you that you're going to be playing with some new social activities, meeting new people. Some of you, this is going to be a combo of both work-related uh, events and celebration. And I'm also seeing the Knight of Coins. The Knight of Coins means they're probably going to be dealing with a younger generation individual that tends to have a little fly by the seat of their pants or impulsive behaviors. Um, yeah, that's what that's looking like. You guys are feeling good. There's your celebration card. So anyways, come find me, karmaondeck.com, if you want a reading of your own one-on-one. -on -one. Or come see me at Karma Connection in Las Vegas. Please subscribe and stick around for a while. We're going to be having so much fun. I have Travis Hart and I um, coming out on Thursday night doing The Heart of Dating. So we're going to be talking about the demographics that is going on with dating right now and hitting some of the harder subjects. So if you want to join us for that, that's going to be tomorrow night. Anyway, subscribe and share the shit out of this. 
I'm having so much fun. I've got a goal of hitting a thousand by the end of the month. So anyway, stick around. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you so much for your patience. We're going to get through Mercury together.